Hey, what's up, guys? I hope everyone's doing well. I'm back, and we're gonna get right back into today's video, which is as the title says, I met the most legendary JDM mechanic in Japan. When I say legendary, this guy was the first person who came out with the GR86. GR86, does that ring any bell? Well, no, it's not the production model because this car actually existed, was completed before the GR86 production models came out from Toyota. So he did it before Toyota, okay? So GR86 is not just any GR86. It's essentially A86 with GR Yaris motor combined it's a GR86 and yes I got to see it in person and let me tell you it was the craziest experience ever and words cannot describe how insane his bill was but it doesn't stop there because he got other projects that is as insane as this car and I want to tell you the everything you need to know about the daddy motor works but nonetheless let's dive right into today's video daddy motor works aka kunihiro oto wars on the street he has been that mechanic in japan where he executed the most complicated engine swaps in entire jdm history now his background that most stood up so far was him working at a famous motor swap shop that was catering for many enthusiasts during the 80s and the 90s they mainly specialized in engine swap for cars such as like drift cars, track cars, and drag cars. And one of the craziest cars that ever been imprinted in our history, he has been part of that project. Now, Daddy Motor Work is a shop that he owns and runs, which is located in Aichi Prefecture, and I was fortunate enough to visit the shop. Now that I gave you this quick introduction of this legendary mechanic, Daddy Motor Works aka Oto-san, let's dive into what everyone else is curious about, which is the GR Yaris Swap A86, aka the GR86. GR86 by Daddy Motor Works. One of the most talked A86 in the entire world. Yes, it's because it's powered by GR Yaris Motor, the G16E GTS. G16E GTS is a three-cylinder motor that is turbocharged, pushing 270 horsepower stock and weights only 240 pounds. Isn't that crazy? This crazy golden motor is capable of pushing 400 horsepower on stock internals. At this time of our visit, he hasn't gotten his tuned yet. However, he said that he was anticipating on pushing at least 350 horsepower. However, I found out that he was able to push 350 horsepower on high boost setting by using the Link G4X Storm Engine Management. Essentially, it's like an ECU. Unlike America, more power isn't always a solution in Japan. Oh, and forgot to mention, this is his practice drift car, he said. He said that because he wanted to drift, that is fun to drive, and 300 horsepower is way more than enough for a car that weighs only less than a ton. It's an 8086, almost got it to the ground with a 240 pounds engine. Like, you could imagine how light this car is. This engine is paired with ZN6 six-speed transmission, which came off of the FRS and the BRZ chassis. Turbo has been swapped out to IHI Turbo, and most you see in this video are all one-off, which means he made it himself. Like, for example, like the piping and the manifold, etc. Now, how is this even possible? What about the wiring? How did he do it? Well, this is where you're gonna be so surprised because the person who done this wiring is this girl, she's I believe around the same age as I do. She also drives an A86 and she drives her A86 to a track to drift on a weekend. We love to see more women doing big things in a male dominated community. We love to see it. Now moving on to the look of the car. I know you all notice how unique this looks but also it's just so cool and awesome. This GR86 has been repainted into the limited edition A90 Supra color called Matte Storm Gray Metallic, serving its consistency with the body color and the engine. To add, he has a wide over fenders on. He actually bought it and then he kind of modified it a little bit just to give that look, which I really love. It's paired with 16 inch Superstar Chevron wheels. Front is 16 by nine, negative three, and the rear is 16 by 10, negative seven along with the Advan Niova 
Yeah, the real JDM guys know to rock Advent Neova. This car executed so much craftsmanship and knowledge that Otosan has accumulated over the course of a few decades. And I can't even fit all the craftsmanship that he have done because honestly, it's a lot. And one day, I will build a car like that. Man can only dream. But this video doesn't end here. There's more. Moving on. This is Nissan 180SX. Yes, it's the same car as mine. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see what's going on here because he's kind of in work in progress with this project. But I'm sure you guys just quickly notice what you just saw in the engine bay. Yes, it's a V8. You guys might be wondering, Okay, but in US, everyone puts V8 in S chassis. No, that's where you're wrong. If you're a freak like me, you instantly knew this is not American V8. In fact, this is 1UZ FE. Those who aren't familiar with 1UZ, let me give you a quick background. So in the US, 1UZ came with cars like SC400, GS400, and LS400. And I feel like there are a few people who have done the swap in the US, but it looks nothing like that. Anyway, this is his customer's car. It's not for him. However, he's just building a fun car to drift. I think by this point, you guys probably realize that there's something different about this motor. Yep, there are eight independent throttle body on the one UZ. Isn't that just pure insanity? Tell me, tell me, tell me if you know anyone in your network, in the United States, in the world, has done this. One UZ paired with eight independent throttle bodies. I would love to know. Please comment down below. I think my first impression of looking at this engine, I was like, this looks like an old school VA motor that could potentially be in like a drag car in American muscle. However, there's actually a specific reason why he made the motor like this. Daddy Motorworks aka Otosan is actually a huge fan of American hot rod and American drag race muscle scene. And then he always thought those are so unique, so crazy, so American, and he's been a huge fan of it. His specialty is in the 0 to 400 drag race. And this is his sunny truck. I think it's the same, right? This car is paired with Workmeisters and it's going to be paired with an over fender. So it's gonna be super modern, super sick, but under the hood, looking a bit crazier. Now, moving on. This car. This is a if you know, you know type of car. I know a lot of people who've been watching my channel might have noticed what this car is, but those who are new, let me give you a little background. So this is a Toyota Starlet, AKA KP61. These cars were one of those cars that was used for drifting a lot at the time. And it, I would say around the 80s, when the A86 was around, before that it was a KP61. So it's basically like a pre A86 if that makes sense. Now, this swap is even crazier because this motor is called M13A engine from Suzuki Swift. I don't think at this point it's too JDM that people might not be catching up. It's something very unique and very well executed. So there's a reason for that. So this car and the motor that normally people swap into is the 4AGE motor, which came with the AE86. However, nowadays the 4AG the prices are skyrocketing to the roof. Why? Because everybody's importing from Japan and it's going everywhere, essentially. So as an alternative, he thought that it's a great idea to pull out a motor that's decently well made and small that could potentially fit into Toyota Starlet and give the Starlet another life, which I thought that was really unique and really, really cool. Another unique build in the house. Daddy Motorworks, AKA Otosan. And it's craftsmanship is a mixture of uniqueness and it's well executed techniques that has been accumulated with all the experience that he has done in the past. You guys can definitely check out his Twitter. He posts his build from time to time. I know it's all in Japanese, but I think it'll be really, really cool for you guys to check it out. I'll have a link in the description. I think you'll be amazed at what kind of swap that he does and how well he does it. I think you guys will be entertained. But yeah, what did you guys think of today's video? Comment down below your thoughts. I love to hear them all. But yeah, that's pretty much it. 
and thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video make sure to check out all of my social which is down in the description of course and this is my new hoodie that i just came out check it out it's on my website at hiddenpalmtree.com and by supporting my brand and my business helps me to create more content in the future but yeah that's pretty much it and i hope to see you guys very soon peace out